Hey guys, it's the Swell Cloth here today, and so it's some Monster Legends analysis video. We're going to be going over Mother Talika and why you should get her out of the current brooding event. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Alright, so Mother Talika is a support monster, and her traits are going to be rank 0 hardened, rank 1 poison immunity, and a rank 3 status caster team torture immunity. So both of the first ones are very, very bad, but the last one is actually really good. Not only that, but she also has some really amazing stats. And then her relics are essence and amulet, which are also really, really good. Then and if we go on down to her pro, she's got great stats. Two of her skills give positive effects to the entire team after she removes negative effects, which is very good. She also has an AoE positive effect removal as well as an AoE negative effect removal, which is very good. And a spammable single positive effect removal with zero cooldown. And then she has access to damage reduction countering attackers. She can heal and give shields. She has good relic slots and she has acceptable stamina costs. And her nature and magic neutralize each other's weaknesses, which means she's only weak to fire and her cons are bad trade besides status caster which we did already go over and she has moderate cooldowns on best moves so let's go ahead and go down to her moves so she has an aoe positive effect removal with 30 magic damage which is really good she also has a team negative effect removal with torture immunity and stamina regen which is also really good she has a 30 percent heal with 30 percent shield which is okay i probably wouldn't use that one though i'd probably stick to this one right here which is a team ner with double damage since of course it not only removes all of the negative stats effects but it also gives double damage which is really great and he also has a positive effect move with total damage reduction which is really good and she has a spammable positive effect removal with zero cooldown so since this monster has so many great things like team ner and team positive effect removal with double damage it would be a great monster for bounty hunts but it would also work for pvp since it just has so much great stuff so yeah i do of course highly recommend that you get this monster because it can do basically everything because it's just such a good monster it has such good moves and it also has a pretty all right trait if you can get it to rank three if you can't get it to rank three it doesn't have that great of a trait but hopefully you will be able to and of course its relics are really good so yeah definitely go and try to get this monster out of the current breeding mass since of course it is insanely powerful and i see you guys in the next one don't forget to like share and subscribe goodbye